Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you this awesome intro to Wanted Dead or Alive by Bon Jovi, but for fingerstyle guitar, and also talk about some of the music theory behind this intro and the rest of the song. Let's start out by looking at just what we're going to do in the right hand. We're going to play our thumb on the fourth string, our index finger on the third string, and we're going to skip the B string, the second string, and play our ring finger on the first string, and then back to the third string. So we're going P, I, A, I. That's going to be the pattern for the whole intro. At the end, we're going to violate that a little bit, as we'll see, but that's all that we're doing in the right hand. Okay, now let's get these chord shapes down in the left hand. It's starting out like this. I don't have a cutaway, but even if you don't, you should play it with these two fingers because the whole idea is to keep your middle finger on the third string all the way down. That's our guide finger. It really anchors us. And it's what I think is most important to make things fluid all the way down. If you use different fingerings and have to jump around, you're not gonna get there on time. And it moves pretty fast. So we have these two notes, F and A. Slide your middle finger down to the 12th fret, that's G, and your ring finger is gonna play the 12th fret of the first string. We're on the 12th fret with both fingers here. Then we slide down to 10 and 10, same exact shape. Then we go to this shape, which is what we started with. Okay, so we're only gonna have two shapes in this whole thing. It either looks like this or it looks like that. So again, we have this at the beginning, these two fingers here on the 12th fret, 10th fret, and then nine and eight. See, I never took my middle finger off. And then we slide all the way down here to five and five. Notice how my ring finger, I make contact with the string before I'm there. Don't wait until you get there and then put it down because you're going to be late. Okay, after this, we go back to this shape, the one we started with, and we're going to slide this down two frets and we end up with the same two notes in the same shape that we started with at the very beginning here. Let's look at the whole thing with the right hand pattern. Now here, we're going to take your middle finger and play this note again on the third string and then slide it. So we go like this. And we want all of these notes to ring out all over each other. So the last part is thumb, index, ring, middle, index, and slide it. So that's the one part that's different than all the other ones. So that's our intro. One more time, real slow. Now, although we wanna keep our middle finger on the third string the whole time, you don't have to press in and you get a sliding sound until the very end, so you could keep it pressed, but if we take the pressure off while still keeping contact with the string, it's easier to move. What's interesting about this song is that they're using all kinds of examples of what we could call modal interchange. From the beginning, we hear this D minor chord, so we might think that we're in the key of D minor where all the Bs are flat. That would be this scale. But if it really were using the D minor scale or the D Aeolian mode, it would sound like this. See that B flat in there? So it's not using that scale, it's using the Dorian mode, the D Dorian scale, which is the same notes as C major. It's the second mode of the major scale. So if we play a C major scale, start on the second note and build a song around that, it sounds a little different. Now the little jazzy are a little more mysterious, that B note, and that is called a major sixth. If we start on D, B is a major sixth from D. So that's why this intro sounds kind of mysterious. When we get down here, there's a, that's where the Dorian scale is happening when we hit that B natural note. So they could have written the whole song using that D Dorian mode, but we're actually using some other scales in here too. So when it goes to this part, that's ambiguous. It could still be D minor. It's definitely not the D major scale because the D major scale, all the C's are sharp. But here we have C natural, which is a flat seven. So what's happening here is we're getting the sound of the mixolydian mode. D is our one chord, C is our flat seven, and we're back. And then when he starts singing, it's a major chord now, definitely. It was ambiguous earlier. Right here, we still have the minor flavor because they never haven't gone yet to a major chord. Now here, there's an F chord. What is that doing in that song? Back to D. That's an example of modal interchange as well. If we were in the key of D minor, think back to D minor, there is an F major chord in there. 
and that would be called the flat three chord. So in the key of D major or D mixolydian, if D is our tone center, there's all these different chords we can choose from other scales. You could even say that the C chord, rather than D mixolydian, we could say, well, this is just a parallel minor chord coming from the D minor scale. Definitely can say that about F, that's a flat three. And then we're back here to the one. And then we have a G chord, which would be our four chord. So when you start singing, we might think that we're in the key of D major, but here comes a C chord. It's a D mixolydian. To G, C again, and then we have that flat three chord, very bluesy sounding. And then we're back to the beginning. Notice how when he does it the second time in the intro, he hits the open D string before the beat. So the song begins on the beat, talking about the open D string, one E and a, two E and a. The second time though, he plays it before the beat. Just a little syncopation, that sounds cool. But if you don't do it, nobody's gonna notice. I hope you like this video. There's so many fun things you can play on nylon string guitar. I am just obsessed with playing songs that aren't flamenco or Spanish in a flamenco slash Spanish way. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.